In tutorial 11, we will cover creating a composite image from Landsat imagery and saving the new image as a permanent dataset. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research with funding from the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED. To begin, open ArcMap and add all seven Landsat images you downloaded in Tutorials 8 and 9, or you can open a saved map from Tutorial 10. Set your workspace and open the Image Analysis window, and make sure your bands are listed in order. In the top of the Image Analysis window, highlight all seven images by using the Shift key. Under the Processing part of the Image Analysis menu, click on Composite Bands. This button creates a temporary composite image. You should see this new temporary image in three different places. In the table of contents, in the image analysis window, and in the map document window. In the image analysis window, click on the new composite image. Under the processing section, click the save button. On the next dialog, leave everything as default, but make sure that you're saving your new image to the proper workspace. Once you've set your workspace, just leave everything as default. The compression type should be None, and the format should be TIFF. When you click OK, you'll receive a dialog box asking if you want to promote pixel depth. Click on No because you don't want to change pixel depth. That will actually change the image. Once you've clicked No, you should see a progress bar at the bottom of your ArcMap window. This next step may take a while as it creates the new image and builds pyramids. When everything is complete, go ahead and click Yes. You do want to add the exported data to your map as a layer. After you've added your new permanent composite image to the map, you can right-click on the layer of properties, go to the properties dialog and the source tab. If you scroll down and look at status, you should now see that it's a permanent layer. Now you're ready for tutorial number 12, band combinations.